Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Pueblo. I'm going to take one finger on the left and put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly wavy wavy line all the way from left to right to the very end and stop. Then I'm going to come over on the left hand side again and I'm going to put one finger and put another dot. From that dot I'm going to draw a curve line down on the left, go back to the dot, curve line down on the right. I'm going to come over to the left and I'm going to draw a straight line out on the left, straight line out on the right. Go back to the left, straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. And now I'm going to come back to the left and connect the two with a straight line. I come back to the left and I draw a straight line all the way down, connect, come on the right hand side, straight line down all the way, connect. Right at this point on the left I'm going to draw a triangle on the left, come over and draw another triangle on the right. I come back to the left and now I draw a straight line down on the left, come on the right hand side, straight line down on the right. I come inside my space and I draw a straight line, curve line, straight line, connect in the center, straight line, curve line, straight line on the left, straight line, curve line, straight line on the right. Right underneath this line I'm going to draw that line again. Right in the center, I'm going to draw a baby circle. Underneath the baby circle, I'm going to draw another straight line across once, and then a skinny straight line twice, and down at the very bottom, I'm going to draw one more straight line across. I come back to the inside of these spaces, and I draw a little straight line and a triangle. These are bells little straight line and a triangle, little straight line and a triangle, and right on top I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, connect. I come over here on the left and I'm going to draw a little straight line up, little straight line over, big curve line up, curve line down, straight line, straight line, connect, and I'm going to draw one more straight line underneath on the left of my triangle and one more straight line on the right. Now I come down towards the right hand side and I'm going to draw a straight diagonal, straight line, straight diagonal out and connect the two with a straight line. Straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. In the center, I'm going to draw a big straight line across and a little bit inside the straight line, I'm going to draw two little straight lines. I come on the right hand side of that structure and I'm just going to draw a straight line all the way to the edge of my paper. And inside, I'm going to go straight line, curve line, straight line, connect, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Right in this space right here I'm going to put a dot and then I'm going to go curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Go back to the dot, curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. And if you have room, curve line out, in, out, in and then a big straight line down once, twice. Right next to it, maybe a little bit lower, put another dot, curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. On top, go back to the dot, curve line out, in, out, in, 
and maybe one more if you can fit it in straight line all the way to the bottom and if you have room for one more maybe a really tall one curve line out in out in connect curve line out in out in connect curve line out in out in connect straight line all the way down okay I think that's it let's see how we're going to color this in Okay, when we color in our Pueblo, you have to remember that there's almost always a church or a mission or a religious edifice close by. So we're going to color all these things blue. Just a little bit of color going across. And because our bells are probably bronze, we're going to make these green. And we can do our tops of our palm trees green all the way across and then just about everything was made out of wood so we're going to take a brown crayon and color this structure all brown this section all brown there might be some adobe so we're going to color this section a lighter peach just to give us some differentiation from being wood. Down at the bottom, I'm just using a different color brown to color in those dusty roads that they all were pretty much enshrined. And I'm going to take my black and color in the insides of my arches, the insides of my doorway. I'm going to take my brown again and do my palm trees and I do have a lesson on how to draw palm trees if you're in California you need to learn how to draw a palm tree they're all over the place and finally I'm going to take my blue green and just fill in my background all of this can be changed and you can do it any way you want this is only a suggestion okay let's see what it looks like all colored in Here's my Pueblo all colored in, ready for an early California experience. Okay, bye-bye.